Hey there chameleons, it's Camille and here is the final hair color reveal you've all been waiting for. It's bright pink and let me show you how. First you gotta gather up your supplies, so I got my mixing bowl, my brush, and all of my dyes, as usual. Today I'm using a different dye, it's the Kiss Express color, the semi-permanent one, and the main color I'm using is Cherry Cola, and I'm mixing a little bit of purple, which you have a lot of choices. You can choose from real purple, there's Purple Rage, but the purple that I found was the best was Intense Purple because it's more pink. See, real purple has more blue undertones in it, and Intense Purple is more of a pinky kind of color, so that's why I decided to go with that. I'm also using a platinum gray, and this is mostly for undertones because when my color fades out, I want it to be more of a dusty pink. And this silver is very light, so it's good for mixing. I'm starting out by filling my bowl with cherry cola, and I'm just doing a lot of that and a little bit of the intense purple and then a little bit of the silver. This way, you can kind of test it out and see how much you should add afterwards. And I'm doing that by doing a strand test on my hair just to see how the color will turn out with these ratios. So then I'm going in and adding more cherry cola because I did like the ratio that came out with the little tiny bit of purple and silver. And I pretty much ended up adding the whole bottle of cherry cola. So then I added a squirt more of purple, a squirt more of silver, mixed it all together, tested it out, and found my perfect color. The color itself looks blood orange in the bowl. Blood orange, she's so pretentious. But that's why you need to do a strand test to make sure it's the right color. Blood orange. And as usual, I'm just going in straight with my hands, no gloves, and applying that to my hair. And I'm just starting at the top of my head and just kind of individually coating all of the hair. So one thing about this dye that's very different from any other dye that I've used is that it's more viscous. And it was made this way so that it would prevent dripping so it won't get into any unwanted areas. And it's also more pigmented than other dyes in the way that if you use it without gloves as I did here, your hands will be pink for a while. So I would definitely recommend wearing gloves to protect your hands from the pigmentation. So when I was just in the middle of doing it, I thought it looked kind of cool with this one like wavy curl, but anyways, let's get back into it. <laughs> That's how bright my hands turned when I used this dye without any gloves, and it ended up staining for like five to six days and I had to go to important things with bright pink hands and meet people, so it was a little weird. So that's why you should use gloves when you're dyeing your hair. At least with this dye anyways. But since I didn't know this at the time, still going in bare-handed, I just took the hair in chunks pretty much and just made sure that each part was very saturated. And you're gonna have to spend your time and really make sure that you cover every part with this dye because as I said before, it is more syrupy than conditioner-like. So you have to be the one spreading it out rather than spreading it out haphazardly like you would with conditioner. The dye is also enriched with jojoba oil and vitamin E, so it will condition your hair while it's coloring. Once you're done spreading it out, I would just gather my hair back and then dip the ends into the bowl so you're not wasting any and then you can kind of just spread that out and make sure that everything is super coated because you want your dye to be even and also it's just really fun. I twist it all up into a bun and just let that sit on the top of my head for however long you want it to sit there. Um, I usually listen to music while I'm doing this so that's why I was dancing and this shirt is meant for ruining so you might as well get dye all over it. <laughs> My hands, you can already tell, are super bright. My legs were stained for a couple of days, but my hair is a beautiful, and once you let that sit for probably like an hour or two is how long I left it in for, rinse it out, and then you've got this bright, dusty rose, which will fade nicely into more of a silvery pink color. It's great for the winter because I'm gonna be wearing a lot of black and dark colors, so this will help brighten up my winter and make me feel a little bit happier. So I was really happy with how the color turned out. I know you guys have been waiting so long to see what color it was, so thanks for your patience. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I have all my other social media linked down below as well as my vlog channel. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you chameleons in the next video. Kisses. Mwah.